Hey guys, here's a short tutorial on uh, what I was saying about the bipedal characters, the biped here that we created. Uh, remember that if you go to the create menu and to systems, you can go to biped, create new biped. So when I was talking before about animation, um, if you just grab your entire model, go to the motion menu, key info, you can set key. Normally you want to set key on at least frame zero as a default pose. Uh, go to start time frame one and do your normal pose, whatever pose it may be. Um, let's say like this, this, that. And normally what I'll do is, I'm just gonna give like a normal pose so it doesn't look like that. I'm going to change my uh, uh, set key for this. Okay. So now you have your pose. I normally I normally copy frame one to frame two as well, just to start it off at frame two. Okay, so I got my pose. Now, if you want to bend or move the character down, there is a, a little bone in there called bit 001. Okay. And that's the main bone that controls the rest of the bones in the body. You do not need to add that when you skin a character. Do not add BIP001. BIP001 simply controls the rest of the bones. Now, uh, BIP001 is a little different than normal bones. Um, during auto key mode, it uh, only keys the movement you have it set to. So if I move it left and right, if you look at the track selection menu, it's only going to key the horizontal. If you move it up and down, then it will key the body vertical. And if you rotate it, then it will key the rotation. Now that seems kind of normal, but for, for if you auto key, uh, like a, let's say an arm, it kind of keyframes everything about that arm. So if I go here, move the arm, go to controller properties, you see a uh, scale rotation position. It auto keyed everything. Now, but unfortunately for your BIP, it does not. So what you need to do is you have to set key on your BIP by itself. And what I do is I like to highlight the BIP. I go to track selection. I usually click on a body horizontal, uh, and usually, sorry, yeah, body horizontal and body vertical. And so at whatever frame I want to start with, I will just set key on body horizontal, set key body vertical, set key on the rotation. And that way, if I copy this keyframe, it has all those available. And if I go anywhere else in my timeline and move it with auto key, everything moves correctly and I can set up my animation, you know, any way I want to and start doing the tweaking. That. So really with BIP001, as I was saying before in classes and stuff like that, just make sure that you look at track selection and when you're set keying everything on your first and last keyframe, or your first keyframe, so that you can copy it to your last keyframe, make sure that you set key, clicking on track selection, body horizontal, set key, body vertical, set key, body rotation, set key. That way we know that all the different forms of that uh, part of the body are all set, are all keyed properly, so that they're never gonna run into problems as you animate. Um, if you do another key pose, do the same thing, set key on all these. Uh, it just makes it a lot handier, and then the in-between frames come out a lot better right away, and you won't freak out too much. That's for BIP001, the one you do not attach to uh, your mesh that's skinned. You can attach every other bone except this one, because like I said, this one just controls the entire body. So it's good to have that um, so that you can do stuff like this. You know, move it up in the air, rotate in the air, that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, so that should be pretty much everything on uh, 001. Just make sure if you do not see it, push F3 on your keyboard. You can go to wireframe mode and you can click on it. It's hidden inside the pelvis. A lot of, a lot of you are getting stuck a little bit because you grab the pelvis and you think that'll move the whole body, but it doesn't. The pelvis is only good for like rotating the legs and stuff like that if there's like a different stance. Remember to think about body stances. Think about rotating the upper torso, the pelvis, and the shoulder blades themselves and uh, you'll get some cool, nice movements going on there. All right, thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.